Eight weeks ago, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria came down hard on bureau de change operators, putting an end to weekly allocations and sale of foreign exchange over illegitimate transactions. Consequently, the regulator directed banks to commence the sale of foreign exchange while putting on hold approval for the establishment of new bureau de change operators. It seems like that matter is far from over as the central bank, through the Monetary Policy Committee, insists that the only recognized foreign exchange rate in the country is through the import and export window. We have unwittingly supported activities of those who illegally buy foreign exchange from this illegal market, carry them in aircraft out of the country, and go to buy arms and ammunition, and bring them back in the con into the country and conduct crime, whether it is Boko Haram, whether it is kidnapping, whether it is all sorts of nefarious activities, we, Central Bank, take our country's dollars and sell to people to go and buy arms and ammunition to come and hurt us. That is what we're seeing that people want us to continue to do. We cannot do that. Just before this warning to Nigerians to only use the banks for their forex transactions, the Monetary Policy Committee put all its parameters on hold to allow for economic recovery. The MPC made the decision to hold all policy parameters constant, believing that a hold stance will enable the continued permeation of current policy measures in supporting the recorded growth recovery and macroeconomic stability. Committee therefore decided by a unanimous vote to retain the monetary policy rate at 11.5%. In summary, MPC voted as follows. One, retain NPR at 11.5%. Two, retain asymmetric corridor at plus 100 and minus 700 basis points around the corridor. And retain the, credit, the, uh, the CRR at 27.5%. Four, retain liquidity ratio at 30%. Members of the committee are optimistic of rebound in the economy, just as they urge the government to address issues of insecurity to boost food production and investment in the country.